There we go. Oh my god! Ah! Wow, so unexpected and so beautiful. What's up everybody? Today I got a super special video for you guys. I'm here with Jason Martin and he's the owner of the Emerald Hollow Mine. And he's gonna show us around the mine and we're gonna dig some hiddenite, hopefully some smoky quartz, see what else we can find. There's lots of areas to explore here, so I hope you enjoy this video. As you can see, we got all the tools ready now and we are heading to the creek. We're gonna start off sluicing some dirt down in there and lifting some big old boulders. Apparently that hiddenite is pretty hard to find. It's the fourth rarest gemstone in the world and it's only found right here in North Carolina. There's actually a couple options here at the Emerald Hollow Mine. You can go through the creek and look for the gems in the gravel or you can go to the actual mine site on top of the ridge and dig through some virgin soil or old tailings piles to find your gems. And of course you can also buy the enriched buckets. So right now we just made it to the creek and we're gonna see what we can get into. Oh, check out that nice piece of quartz. That's pretty. Nothing like we used to in Arkansas, but hey, that's beautiful. So here's some of the best gems that we have found so far. This piece is really cool. It's a piece of quartz and it's got a six-sided Muscovite mica in it. Really nice river tumbled quartz right there. Then here we have a piece of moonstone or feldspar. And check out this nice crystal right there. That's a cool piece of mica. All right, well, we're gonna check out the other parts of the mine and see if we can get into a pocket or something or dig a few buckets to sluice. All right, we are on to the second part of this mining experience today. We have just finished checking out the creek and now we are about to check out the East Ridge mining area. All right, guys, we are getting into the dig site area here. And as you can tell behind me, there's all kinds of little holes. So you're pretty much free to dig anywhere up in this area. And you can start your own hole, or um, we are lucky enough to be here at the right time. And John Siefke just opened up a nice little spot back here. So let's go ahead and check that out. What are you finding? Dirt. <laughs> <laughs> If you like dirt, this is the place to go. <laughs> All right, so here you can see some of that quartz vein. And what we're really looking for is those layers of mica, because apparently the mica is an indicator for a lot of different minerals that are found here, like the emerald. All right, so as you can see back there, we are getting into some mica and smoky quartz. So that little spot looks really promising. Okay, so we are hitting this interesting pocket here. It's got a lot of cute little mica in it. And yeah, I mean, potentially, there could be some cool stuff in there. Oh, look at all that mica, guys. All right, wow, check that actually out. That's a uh, smoky quartz right there. It's got a tip and everything. So here's the bucket of material that we just got out of the pit and we're gonna run it through this water trough. Oh, look at that. Look at that, guys. This was unexpected. We literally couldn't see it while we were digging, but this quick little rinse revealed this beautiful little gem. Good morning, everybody. It's day two at the Emerald Hollow Mine. And after finding that beautiful little green gem yesterday, which I think to be an aquamarine, we just had to come back today and check what else we can find up here in this little pit area. All right, so this is where we were digging yesterday. 
and we started chasing this little vein of mica and we actually just took a half a bucket out of here to find that little green gem. So what I'm gonna do this morning is get the rest of this material that we got out of this little pocket and bucket it up and run it through the sluice down there and see if there's anything else that we might have missed. And just to give you guys an idea of what I'm talking about, about this vein of mica, check this out. This is the little pocket of mica that I just pointed out to you guys. So I'm trying to kind of remove some of the overburden and get behind that. Try to pop it all out at once. Oh yeah, look at all that little mica in that. That's looking very promising right there. All right guys, check out these beautiful handfuls that I just pulled out. This one looks really special. It's got some smoky and some mica. And then I think this may be a little crystal. Let's check that out. So here's that little crystal. And it's actually a beautifully terminated, perfect little point, guys. Look at that. This is turning out to be pretty spectacular. We just 10 minutes in on day two and look at this little amazing scepter that we just pulled out. It is so beautiful. It's got a nice skinny shaft at the bottom and then a beautiful crystal point. There's some good stuff. Sounds promising too. Oh wow, okay. Look at all these crystals. Oh my God. Look at that black glass right there. There's a whole bunch of them. <gasps> look, at, look at this huge point. Now this is what we used to from Arkansas. Black glass in the pocket, guys. That is super special. We had no idea that this would be possible and then we would get into it so quickly. But that is looking really, really special right there. There we go. Oh my God! Oh! Holy cow! Guys, guys. Check, oh, I, I feel it's fractured, but, oh my God. Look at this, what? <laughs> that is one beautiful celestial crystal. Holy smokes. Guys, it is absolutely possible to find beautiful stuff at the Emerald Hollow Mine. Beautiful Alessio Smoky Quartz, unbelievable. We are finding some lovely little crystals in there. So here's another little specimen. It's got a few points right there. Look at that. Mm. All right guys, as you can see, we have chased this vein quite a bit and it's kind of starting to fizzle out. So we got these three buckets filled. We're gonna take them down to the water trough and run them through the screens and see what will be revealed. All right guys, let's go ahead and rinse this beautiful celestial quartz. Reveal all the beautiful facets. Here's that little scepter. Check. 
check out this beautiful little single. So here's all the best crystals from our pocket. Some beautiful stones. Here's that scepter and it's definitely my favorite find of the day. Super nice, light smoky color and really well defined scepter habit in pristine condition. Beautiful. Here's our very own North Carolina Aquamarine. Here's that biggest celestial skeletal quartz. Beautiful smoky color. Nice formation. Look at all those facets. And here are a few more beautiful crystal points of the day. And of course we found a lot of mica. This is probably my favorite piece really cool cluster of mica this one is really cool too it's just a nice ball of smoky quartz and mica i hope you guys got a good glimpse into the emerald hollow mine hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this and i'll see you in the next video aloha 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 It is magical. This place will carry you everywhere you go. And, and when you leave here, there will be something that will gravitate you back. And you'll want to come back and find out more that you can find. What more that the, does the earth have to offer me right here in North Carolina?